this is the new windscreen frame. Uh, this is a knock together prototype just to allow me to see where everything is going to fit and it's not the final design. It's pretty close but there's still some features that need to be added to it and I'm going to try to reduce the number of angle cuts you guys need to make as much as I can. I also want to show you a couple of construction details that you're going to need to know before you skin your cockpit. Um, this is the forward turtle deck that has been skinned with 8 inch hardboard and as you can see I've used actual aircraft rivets. These are standard aluminum rivets. I'm using flathead here and this is just an example to show what the flatheads look like. If you can see that <clears throat> real close they're flush with the surface. Uh, I didn't put very many in because the ones I had at the time that I did it did not have long enough reach to go as deep into the material as needed to do to hold very well. The rest of the rivets are standard panhead rivets. Uh, these are <clears throat> half inch rivets, eighth inch diameter. Uh, the trick is you drill the hole just a little bit undersized, put a drop of glue in the hole and tap it in with a plastic headed hammer. It doesn't mar the surface and it looks really good. Um, <clears throat> next, we've got the construction detail that I wanted to talk to you about. <clears throat> As you can see here, we've got a gap between the canopy rail and the surface where the skin is going to be. Okay, This gap needs to be closed up because we're going to have to put a, uh, a line of either regular fasteners or rivets in here to hold the skin down. Okay, Now what I have done <clears throat> is put in a little bit of blocker material back there using a pin nailer. It's real similar in size to that. This one's actually pinned and glued in place. But it'll fit under here just like that. And you're going to have to do this for the entire run, okay? That's in order to build up on that surface so you can see what's going on. I should note real quick, this is a tool that you're going to want to get. It's a, called a pin nailer. They run anywhere from $20 to $100 depending on who you get it from and where you, uh, where you go. This one was from Harbor Freight and was all in 1995. Um, it's a good investment unless you're an industrial user, in which case get something like a port or cable. Um, anyway, this needs to be built up. And in order to build that up, we're going to have to add some more parts to it. The first part that goes in is a piece of the canopy rail material. Okay, Both parts are 3 quarters of an inch thick and uh, are flush with the top here. Okay. This only can be glued. You can't pin this in because you're going to be drilling holes in there for fasteners. Okay. <clears throat> the next parts that go into this are made of eighth inch light ply. Okay. So we put this piece in. This piece is three quarters of an inch high. The next layer is a half inch high. And the next layer is a quarter inch high. Now as you can see it sticks up past this feature. And that's fine because what we're going to do is when we get all that glued up, you're going to take a piece of little a block and you're going to glue some sandpaper to it. Okay, And when you have all of these pieces done, you can sand this to shape and it'll look really nice. This top is going to be covered with either 8 inch hardboard or aluminum, your choice of course, but it, it's okay because all this is here is to hold those rivets. and It'll do a really good job of that. Uh, next video, you'll see what it looks like all shaped up.